welcome back <laughs> so I'm really really excited to do this video today mainly because I just really wanted to do a look with this palette now the palette I'm talking about is this latest bad habit palette and this is the bad habit cult mania palette now this palette is their latest installment of their luck what is it Lux line of eyeshadow palettes I believe it's probably one of their most expensive palettes if not the most expensive palette that they have on the market and these palettes under the cult series are dupes for the larger Pat McGrath palettes now the dupe that this palette is for, the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction, is the latest one that everybody's been going crazy about. And I was going to purchase that palette, but I was kind of stalling <laughs> because if you're familiar with the Pat McGrath palettes, you know that they have a pretty hefty price tag attached to them of $125. Now, this palette here from Bad Habit was $24.99. I did purchase it from the Bad Habit website, but they do also sell these on the Shop Hush website for the same price, $24. And if you have some points with Shop Hush, you can get free shipping and use your points and all that good stuff. But of course, for the Black Friday weekend, Bad Habit is given a pretty nice discount too. I think it's about 25%. So, <laughs> with all of that being said, just wanted to say this is one of the Pat McGrath palettes that I really, really wanted and I decided to pass on because I wanted to try out this dupe and see if I liked it or not. So, these are the shadows in this dupe palette. Let me go ahead and give you a closer look. And of course, it's a bit beat up because I did create this eye look today using this palette so these are what the shadows look like in this palette as you can see there are some pretty nice soft mattes in here as well as some baked powders pressed powders now as you can see these shades over here are what they consider or what they call the baked powders and they're very delicate <laughs> so you know you have to take care with using them wet your brush use fix plus use a glitter glue things like that as well as this shade here which i did place on my lid and these gorgeous glitter type shadows now this palette is very very pretty to me i really really i mean all of the real true pat mcgrath palettes are just gorgeous beyond words amazing <laughs> wonderful but for those you know of us who are kind of like let me just pump my brakes on that hefty price tag you know these can be a nice comparable substitution for you to go ahead and get a feel for the colors although none of these shadows I would say even really come close to the Pat McGrath shadows because I do have some Pat McGrath palettes they are very, very nice, very, very nice shadows. So I feel like if you did purchase these palettes, you wouldn't be disappointed. Now I will say with these palettes, they can be a little intimidating because they can be a bit tricky working with these glittery shades. They are very delicate and things like that. So I wouldn't say that it's an easy palette to work with. Now the matte shades, blend out like a dream they do they blend out nicely easily they do layer very easily and they look gorgeous when you place these specialty shades and glitters on top of them so i will but with say that, that being said let me go ahead and just do some swatches for you guys so you can take a look at how this palette swatches watched you guys as you can see it is very very pretty absolutely gorgeous you can see all of the glistening and twinkle in the shimmer shades metallic shades pressed glitters whatever they are and the matte shadows are nicely pigmented as well so that is the whole palette swatched 
Now, like I said, I don't have the actual original Pat McGrath palette to compare this palette to, so I can't give you any comparisons on swatches, colors, blendability, and things like that. So I'm going to quit running my mouth because that's pretty much all I have to say about this palette. I love it. If you'd like to see how I created this look, as usual, stay tuned because it's coming up next. <laughs>